ignition fail. Greetings. I'm Cody of the Bloodhound family, head of security for the hotel. How may I assist you? Hello. So, uh, there's something I wanted to ask about. I've been hearing some unsettling rumors about certain incidents that might affect the Charmony Festival. Do you think there's anything to be worried about? I've traveled all the way from the Hayai Federation, and I don't want my trip to be ruined. Um, what do you mean? Wait. You haven't heard. I'm not sure where you heard those rumors, but they're completely baseless. I can assure you, as a representative of the Bloodhound family, that everything is going smoothly for the Charmony Festival. At present, all of the families are focused on making sure the festival starts on time. Even the Dream Master himself has arrived. So don't worry, your trip won't be in vain. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's a relief to hear. She doesn't appear to be acting. So, it seems that even the hotel staff are out of the loop. Well, a face recognition failed, you lousy robot. here for the Charmony Festival, too. Well, I didn't come all the way here specially for the festival. Honestly, I don't really even know what it's about, but I heard it's a lot of fun. Well, back in my home world, Anaria, we have festivals like that all the time. My dad threw me a birthday party one time that was just as extravagant as the Charmony Festival. Come on! The Charmony Festival is a once in an amber era event! How can a birthday party compare? Well, uh, you never know, right? Maybe on her world, birthdays only happen once in amber era. Anyway, let's forget about that. Have you heard about the uh, unsettling things happening in the dreamscape? could possibly go wrong. It better not ruin the Charmony Festival. I've been looking forward to it. Relax. With a big event like this, there's bound to be lots of gossip and rumors. Don't worry. If anything does happen, the family will be on top of it. <sighs> oh, that's a relief. I didn't come all this way to see the festival go down the drain. Well, looks like I won't get any fudging clues out of these two. They're clueless. Back already? Hasn't she returned yet? Nope. I'm starting to wonder if sending her to contact Sunday was a good idea. Neither the staff nor the guests seem to know anything about what's happening in the dreamscape, and... Wherever we go, all we see is people enjoying themselves. Definitely not a good sign. I agree. Another unusual thing is that the Oak family is supposed to be in charge of organizing the council and managing everything inside and outside the dreamscape. However, I walked around the hotel but didn't meet a single member of the Oak family on such an important day. Well, I'll be forked. If I remember correctly, the head of the Yoke family is that Sunday guy, right? We shouldn't linger here too long. Let's go back to the Express for now. 
<laughs> Not so fast. Have you ever robbed the IPC? Bro? If you run away now, everyone will be chasing after you. Are you suggesting we sit here and do nothing? I wouldn't say do nothing. But let's stay put for now. Even if the family has ulterior motives, they couldn't have anticipated us showing up here. We're the surprise factor for them. They don't want to attract unwanted attention from certain outsiders, so they won't do anything reckless. See? The IPC lackeys are keeping a close eye on this hotel. If I were a family member, I'd find an official excuse and keep the surprise factors here. If we just wait here, that would be like walking into their trap. Of course, we don't need to walk into their trap. I gave a backup plan to the memo keeper. If it turns out we won't be allowed to enter the dreamscape, she'll order a drink for me in the VIP lounge at the hotel. In reality... A secret signal. That's right. Oh, a concrete object can indeed help the memo keeper establish a connection with you. But Boot Hill, if you have more backup plans in the future, I hope you'll let me know in advance. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's one of my quirks. I have too many unreliable friends. And if I reveal that I have backup plans, things can... things can go awry. And that would leave all backup plans completely useless. How do we get into the VIP lounge? This is where my street smarts come into play. Manager, right? Yes, I am. How may I assist you? We're the Nameless from the Astral Express. We wanted to check in, but there's something wrong with your system. The lady at the front desk said she would contact the manager, but <laughs> now she's nowhere to be found. Now, we've been waiting here forever, without any food or water. What the fork, man? Is this how the family treats its guests? Is this your idea of street smarts? Starting an altercation? It's called standing up for your rights. I apologize for the inconvenience. Please wait while we try to contact Mr. Sunday. I'll arrange two premium seats in the VIP lounge so you can rest there while you wait. <laughs> See? Just like that. Just... Uh, just... Don't call yourself a nameless next time. Wow, this bar something else. Certainly worthy of the planet of festivities. Gentlemen. Hey, I have an order for a bottle of his Donna's White Oak. Can you help us find it? Has Donna's White Oak? Hmm. I think there might be a misunderstanding. We don't serve that here. Oh, no way. Are you sure you're not mistaken? 
If someone had reserved such a beverage, I would definitely remember it. It sells for hundreds of thousands of credits per bottle, after all. Uh, I couldn't afford to cover for such an item if it were broken or lost. That's strange. Well, could it be that the memo keeper couldn't afford it? Well, what should we do now? Oh, no need to rush. Well, let's grab some drinks first. Maybe I arrived too early and he hasn't come yet. Now, let's see what kind of juice malts you all have here. Huh, well, uh, give me a glass of Heenum Valley, 40 years. I'll have it neat. No ice. Well, that's the most expensive one on the list. You have a taste for the finer things. <laughs> it's on the house, anyway. What can I get for you? Anything you recommend is fine. Then I would recommend today's special, Glass Village. It's classic Soul Glad mixed with Laboom juice. It's refreshing and suits your cool demeanor. Hmm, just one minute. Ah, this flavor! Dynamite barbecue with rocket fuel. Ooh, really hits the spot. Truly the finest sherry cask aged malt juice in the cosmos. Dynamite barbecue with rocket fuel. Uh, is that really something that humans enjoy? <laughs> hey, this guy doesn't know anything at all. As long as you're satisfied, dear guests, please enjoy. Let's give the memo keeper another half-system hour. If she doesn't show up, we'll need to come up with a new plan. In the meantime, let's take stock of the situation. What do you think? The situation is unclear. Something must have happened on the planet of festivities, but the public is unaware of it. Someone in a position of power within the family must be covering it up. It's unusual for the followers of the Harmony to invite other factions, let alone the IPC and the Masked Fools. <sighs> if what you said about the Emanator of the Nihility is true, the situation in Penacony is a little complicated, to say the least. Actually, there's something else I'm concerned about regarding Acheron. As you know, the faction that follows the path of the hunt are some of the most dangerous folks in the cosmos to mess with. I mean, who in the right mind would impersonate the Sienjo Alliance or the Galaxy Rangers? It's like asking for a death wish. Isn't there a saying among the Sienjo people that uh, the Rainbow Sect lets their Lux arrow do all the beating? Talking. Do all the talking. Well, you know what I mean. Even though the Galaxy Rangers have been out of sight for years, we've been keeping an eye on this region. Even the dumbest criminals know better than to mess with the Annihilation Gang, much less the Rangers. But that Acheron lady, she doesn't seem like a lunatic at all. On the contrary, She's highly logical and organized. She knows exactly when to hold back and when to strike without mercy. And you believe that someone like her would have an ulterior motive for impersonating a galaxy ranger? I'm not entirely sure, but I do have my suspicions. Maybe she knows a galaxy ranger, or perhaps she's trying to lure us out for some reason. I can't figure out. Anyway, what worries me more are the anomalies within the family. They've summoned followers from various paths for the festival. No matter how generous the family might be, this move seems highly unusual. Unless the invitations weren't sent by them. Uh, if that's the case, it's even more intriguing that the family insists on organizing the Charmony Festival despite the chaos. Maybe 
Did she pay the harmony pull the strings? You find it beyond human understanding because it wasn't arranged by humans at all. People do stupid things out of irrational impulses. They abandon their principles when self-interest is involved. They believe in things they know they shouldn't and fudge. They even break their own rules. But eons don't. They stick to their determined path and never turn back. Even if they reach a dead end. You think Shipei's will is behind all this? It may not necessarily be Shipei. There's definitely some higher entity involved. I know it may sound pessimistic, but if human free will were reliable, why would we even need Galaxy Rangers? It's much simpler when you boil it down to the eons and paths. Like how Lon always follows the path of the hunt, or, or how the Express stays true to the Trailblaze despite Akavili's disappearance. But in my opinion, Akavili's fall holds significance for the Nameless. Oh, so you're saying the Nameless now have to take responsibility for their own choices because their absolutely right leader is gone? Exactly. I believe the purpose of the journey isn't just about following a path that's always considered absolutely right. It's more about doing your best to choose the right path for yourself among countless possibilities, even with limited insight and judgment. I don't know what you've been through, but I agree that people must take responsibility for their choices, because no one else can do it for them. That's why the Galaxy Rangers need to uncover the imposter and figure out her true intentions. Just in case. I have a backup plan if the Memo Keeper doesn't show up. This is my final backup plan. I promise. You sure have a lot of cards up your sleeve. Well, going back to my old career would make things a lot easier. By the way, when you were walking around the hotel, did you happen to see any important-looking guests? What's your plan? It's simple. We just grab some hostages and use them as bargaining chips with the family. Or maybe we can even take their identities. No need for that. We'll return to the Express now. Wait. Are you getting scared? <laughs> Draw your weapon. Let's make a big scene. Are you leaving, esteemed guests? Uh, would you like to cancel that as Donna's White Oak you just ordered? <clears throat> huh? As Donna's White Oak? But didn't you just say? Ha <laughs> ha! Looks like you are a bit intoxicated, esteemed guests. Uh, you ordered a bottle of Asdana's White Oak just a moment ago. Hmm. Looks like your memo keeper friend has finally arrived. Oh, right. Sorry, my memory's not the best. You know, too many modifications and all. <clears throat> anyway, let me check. <laughs> well, fork me. It's Asdana's White Oak, all right. And there's a note. I'll be waiting for you on the Astral Express. No mistake, that's her message to you. She knew the hotel wasn't safe, so she suggested we find another place. Well, looks like we took a detour, but now it's back to the Astral Express. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Boarded saying they were looking for Boot Hill, so I told them to wait in the parlor car. Oh, just in time. Two guests? She's one of them. Look, we welcome all passengers.
passengers on the Astral Express. But sneaking in like that? You have no regard for etiquette! My apologies, Conductor. It was an oversight on my part. I assumed you were already acquainted with the Garden. Given the chaotic situation in Panacone, the Nameless are the only ones we can truly trust right now. You are the Memo Keeper. Pleased to meet you, Dan Hung. I've seen you and others' memories. And as for Boot Hill, this is our first face-to-face -face meeting. I hope you enjoyed that bottle of Astana's White Oak. You sure have a refined taste. Finally, Memo Keeper. Well, let's cut to the chase. Spill everything you know. That's precisely what I intend to do. But before that, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Black Swan, and I serve the Garden of Recollection as a memo keeper. As for Acheron's story, I'm sure she knows it better than I do. Greetings. I'm Acheron. What? You Garden of Recollection shirtbag! You betrayed me! I apologize, but she did that at my request. Due to certain reasons, I have been exiled by the family. Thankfully, this memo keeper came to my aid and helped me escape their surveillance unnoticed. To be honest, it was more like stalking than helping. And the process was far from unnoticed. But we did escape. I asked her to guide me to a place beyond the family's reach and to contact a few trustworthy individuals. Namely, all of you. Trustworthy? <laughs> Son of a nice lady. You think I'm dumb or something? How about this? I'll put a few bullet holes in your head and see what secrets spill out. Then, we can talk about trust. It doesn't have to be like that. I'm willing to answer all your questions, but not right now. If my cover hadn't been blown, we might have had more time, but at the moment, we don't have any other options. No other options? What do you mean? This is the only way I can ensure everyone's safety. I kindly request an immediate warp jump out of the Astana star system. This passenger is requesting... As far as I can tell, she's not a threat and seems to be telling the truth. I've briefly traveled with your companions and know their whereabouts, Don Hung. Please rest assured, your nameless companions are safe, but they need our help. As for Boot Hill, you may have guessed. I've been waiting for you. Galaxy Rangers are known for their elusive nature and limited contact with each other. So this was the only way I could reach out to you. Only by doing this can I find a true Galaxy Ranger and fulfill a long-standing promise. To return his relics to their rightful owner. Someone once told me that every rainfall is like a gift from the heavens, a sign of their mercy upon the world. Raindrops are said to be the tears of the gods shed in response to the sorrows of the world. Their constant pouring is a reminder that the gods haven't abandoned us yet. So, how long has this rain been going on for? I used to believe, just like you, that it would eventually stop. Years and decades past and in the end such hope faded away before the rain did 
Looks like the god you mentioned doesn't exist after all. Well, let me share a story with you. Mortals who walk the paths are like sailors on a vast ocean, leaving behind a trail that creates countless ripples of possibilities. These ripples last longer than the fleeting lifetimes of humans. And for some, their presence leaves such a strong mark that it's reflected in the waves. Like those shadows on the ocean. Sin thirsters, the obsessions of the path striders, they emerge from the depths of IX, seeing themselves as masters of their own destiny, unknowingly repeating the actions of their past lives. They emerge from the nihility and head toward it, leading purposeless lives. However, these hollow phantoms, they were once my dear companions, a group of galaxy rangers. Are you watching over them? Watching over them? No. I'm guiding them toward transcendence. It was a brutal war, a crusade that shook the universe. The universe witnessed the fall of Zulo, the Lord Ravager, but it came at a price. A price so hefty that only those who were there still remember. The unwavering determination of the hunt followers persists even in death. So someone must guide these lost souls to their life beyond. They were heroes in their time. And they shouldn't be reduced to mere puppets of nihility. As for me, I've suffered too many losses on that battlefield to advance any further. And that makes me the most fitting person to carry out this task. But you know, these sin thirsters, they're not who they used to be. Does this seem pointless to you? Well, some tasks have to be done, even if they are pointless. I can help you. For what? For the meaning of the nihility. That's what I've been seeking. I see. After all, this realm is off limits to ordinary souls, right? Thank you, stranger. I wish that you find what you seek. Before we part ways, I have one more question. It is true that their actions and even their entire lives may seem pointless from our perspective. But if, and it's just an if, if this is what the departed ones expected, should we try to change it? A good question, and a profound one. 
I don't know the answer. What I do know is that one day I too will pass away. I hope that when that day comes, someone will stand at my grave and place a bouquet of flowers. When I appeared as a child, my speech, mindset, and soul reflected immaturity and innocence. As I grew into adulthood, I left behind my childlike side. I humbly request your blessings, esteemed advocate of Shibe. Come to me, my kinship. I have sought their presence with us. As you wish. I have faithfully served the Alfalfa family for nearly a decade, promoting the path of the harmony to the best of my ability. However, I made a mistake yesterday. While I was preparing dinner for the family head, I accidentally dropped a prepared dish on the floor. Out of laziness, I lied and claimed that everything was ready. <laughs> Although the head has dismissed me as punishment, it has been tough to sleep with the guilt still gnawing at me, as I worried that the seeds of evilness may have taken root in my soul. So, I confess to you now to seek atonement for my sins. Do you sincerely repent and vow to change your ways? Yes. Have you examined your soul and confessed all your sins? Oh, yes. Are you willing to accept the process of atonement? <laughs> yes. Very well. Show your dedication and goodwill to the family and you shall be reinstated among them. Now, please, leave in peace. Oh, pray, Shibe. And thank you, esteemed advocate. Next, please step forward. I, I wholeheartedly confess to you, please. Pardon my sins. Rest assured, I have implored their presence to be with us. As long as you are sincere, absolution will be granted. Oh, oh great. You know, I... I arrived in Panacone as a stowaway. I sold everything to get a ticket. My house, my land, and... My two children. I see. Please, go on. My children were starving. And I hoped they'd have a chance at survival if they became slaves here. If... If I can strike it rich here, I'll lift them out of that situation and give them the life they deserve. But the Bloodhound family got wind of it. They're on my tail, hunting me down. I thought I could bring my kids here. It, it was all my fault. All my fault. The family is ready to forgive all sinners. I'll ask the Bloodhound family to cease their pursuit. You don't need to live in fear anymore. Oh, thank you. My heart is to redeem my children and make them part of the family. Praise, praise the harmony. Next, please step forward. Hey, 
long time no see, Mr. Sunday. The most esteemed individual in Penacony, and the next leader of the Oak family, right? I have sought their presence with us. Let us proceed. Sure. Let's just get this over with. <clears throat> I have sinned. Please forgive me. I wasted half a pizza at breakfast and a bottle of Soul Glad. That's it. Nothing more. Can we wrap this up? I've got a robo ball game to catch, you know? Do you seek to atone for your sins through good deeds? My sins? Wow, I'm starting to sound like a saint, huh? Well, let me tell you something. Neither the family nor you have the right to judge me. You think nobody knows what your precious family has done? About the watchmaker? Huh? Kid yourself, Featherbrain. Those dream chasers might be fooled by your act, but don't fool yourself. Before you start spouting off your holy verses, answer me this. Where does the power of the Oak family come from? And your power? What makes you think you can sit there all high and mighty, looking down on everyone else? Well, spent enough time in confession today to enter the Harmony's Paradise, right? Then I'll take my leave. Good luck with your election, and, uh, don't make me regret my investments in you. Oh, revered triple-faced soul, hear my doubts. Who can judge the strong when their power hides their crimes? Who can vouch for the weak when they will pay any price to survive? Who can comfort the purest souls when even they get led astray? If the strong defending the weak is truly the foundation of paradise, Who is responsible for the suffering and anguish in this wretched world? Brother? Brother? Brother, are you all right? I'm... fine. I've been working long hours, and I just made a trip to Dreamflux Reef and back. So, I'm a bit out of sorts. But it'll all be over before we know it. You've been working non-stop on the Germany Festival, Mr. Sunday, and no one could have predicted this incident. Even if the Stellaron does pose a grave threat, I still feel sorry for all the trouble we've caused you. <laughs> no need to worry about troubling anyone. The Charmony Festival was meant to spread joy and harmony across the cosmos. But now that we know the truth, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel it. It has always been our wish to make everyone happy, so... We'll do our best to explain everything to the Dream Master. I'm sure he'll understand. Even if the negotiation does not go smoothly... I'll refuse to go on stage. Without the Chordmaster, the Harmonious Choir would not arrive, and the Charmony Festival would be just a grand performance, and nothing more. <laughs> I'm relieved to see your determination. You know, since arriving in Penacony, we haven't had any contact with this Dream Master himself. I'd heard of the heads of the five major lineages, but the Dream Master is a mystery to me. The Dream Master rarely grants an audience, even for us. But, given the urgency of the situation, he's agreed to meet us in person. <laughs> Perhaps he'll be the first guest to meet the Dream Master in years, Mr. Yang. Let's hope we can reach a consensus that satisfies everyone. 
Indeed. Let us hope so. It's about time. We'll have to get ready for the meeting. I apologize for any inconvenience caused by the urgency. Don't worry. I'll be waiting here. It's Mr. Sunday! Hey! Come over here! <laughs> Looks like someone needs help. Let's go check it out. 